So for me, the best thing about being a pilot at EAAA is working within such a close team. Um, it's really special to be able to work uh, within, despite there being quite a few of us and always a different team, uh, the bonds are very close. I guess it's really interesting and rewarding flying. We get to help people out and land in some, some unusual places. Uh, so our day starts as pilots, we do a pilot to pilot brief, um, so we have a good look through the weather and the aircraft and all of the bits of the day and once we've done that we then move on to the crew brief. So the crew brief is where the whole crew for the day come together uh, and we firstly do an aviation brief and then a medical brief. Our reactions when the red phone rings uh, could be a bit variable to be honest. When you first start in the job, uh, you probably get quite a big shot of adrenaline and a few nerves and stuff because you've not done it that many times before. But as you go on and get a bit more experience, that sort of uh, decreases a bit. You still get a bit of a bit of a, a, a jolt when the phone goes. Uh, so in the initial phase of the tasking, when we're just launching, we have a sterile cockpit. So we only discuss aviation matters in the first 200 feet. It's similar when we're landing. Sometimes there's more information coming in from the critical care desk. Um, other than that, it will be the radios on route, depending on where we're going, who we need to talk to, any small airfields or glider sites or anything on route. If we've got the opportunity and the job's a bit of a, a distance away, we'll try and have a look on the iPad and maybe get a rough idea of where we're likely to land so we can talk about that with the crew, see if they potentially need to arrange someone to come and pick them up if we're going to be landing a long way away. Flying at night brings its own challenges, so we use night vision goggles. Um, they also have monocles in the back. So the night flying itself, uh, we plan a little bit more in the office before we go. We still launch quite quite quickly by night, it's normally about 10 to 12 minutes, um, but by day it's about 3 or 4. Once we are airborne, we have a much more procedural um, setup when we get overhead our scene. Uh, so we do multiple reccees at different heights and we use a really strong uh, light to have a good look uh, at site. Um, we use Google Maps or a version of uh, to look on our iPads and then using the light we're looking for any threats within that site that we might not be on the iPad, animals, um, people, wires, all sorts. I think sometimes we're probably given too much credit, we're just a, a very small part of, uh, of the wider team actually without all the support staff, without the charity, without the fundraisers, without the general public in East Anglia, we, we wouldn't be able to do what we do so yeah um, I guess yeah, we just feel very lucky to do what we do.